hello good morning long time no vlog it's definitely been i think a few months since i did a work vlog like this so i'm very excited to be back with these i think every once in a while i still want to do a work vlog just to show you guys maybe the average day-to-day -day of what my day looks like as a security analyst and as well for anyone who's curious about what i'm up to at work especially because things are always changing and always evolving so the things i was working on maybe a few months ago are not things i'm working on anymore so yeah, a lot of different projects and different ways that I spend my time during my work day. But yeah, just to give you guys a little bit of a recap on life lately, um, I just came back over the weekend from a New York trip and now I am getting back into the swing of things. So honestly, my team does tend to get busier during quarter end and stuff like that, which I think a lot of teams do. Your projects and assignments are quarterly based versus project based. Um, so it's definitely been busier. And since the last few months, I've also picked up some longer term projects for my team. So I used to just mostly spend my time on a lot of the tickets that come in, but now that's half of my work. <laughs> um, and now I have actual projects that I'm the lead on. And that has also been a very interesting experience because I don't think in my previous company I've ever had this much responsibility. Um, it was always you know, someone more senior than me or someone like my manager who's leading a project and I was just helping out. And then I also have other teammates that are helping me, of course, and we're kind of working together on it. So I do think obviously that is a huge, huge help. It's definitely been a very good learning experience, I think. All right guys, currently getting lunch. Um, I get some Starbucks, but honestly, I'm very tired, so this year maybe I will get a Starbucks. I'm getting my pumpkin spice. Alright, so this is probably a bad habit, but I think we've been going to Starbucks more often than we should, multiple times a week. Obviously, you guys have probably seen like the finance videos about, you know, getting less coffee and stuff like that, but um, it really is just because of the pumpkin spice latte or like the pumpkin spice wrap. I'm really into pumpkin spice, but I could probably learn to make it at home, but I don't I don't have like a fancy coffee maker. So yeah, that is why we are lined up for Starbucks coffee probably a few times a week. What do you think about that? You shouldn't even get it with the coffee. Oh, oh, that's true. I didn't get it with coffee this time. Um, so the pumpkin spice frap, which is the one that I usually get, they let you choose like a cream frap versus a coffee frap. Usually I get a coffee frap, but this past weekend we've just been eating so much and drinking a lot of coffee, or not coffee, like boba um, and caffeine and stuff. So like, I feel like I just physically look tired too. Um, so I'm just gonna get the cream, even though I'm lactose intolerant, but I think I've been getting less lactose intolerant just because I've, eaten, I've just been eating more dairy and I think my body, your body gets accustomed to it after, uh, I don't know, you like start taking in more quantity. This looks very orange. I know, right? Interesting. Very pumpkin. And then I also got lunch, which is a well, technically it's a breakfast sandwich, but I'm getting it for lunch. It's the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. Wait, okay, let's try this. This is straight up pumpkin spice, but no coffee. I kind of feel the difference, but honestly, it is pretty good. It tastes very similar to the normal pumpkin spice wrap for anyone looking to take a break from caffeine. And I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is FlexiSpot. Working from home means I'm always at my desk and I'm so excited to be upgrading my desk setup with the FlexiSpot EC5 standing desk in the size 60 by 30 inches with a white frame and bamboo curved desktop. You can customize your desk to fit your style with, with different colors and sizes of the desktop and the desk frame. The desktop itself is made from bamboo, which is super strong and durable, making it a long lasting investment. I love how minimal the design of the desk is and how spacious my work area is now. With quiet dual motors, lifting and lowering your desk is convenient and efficient. Having a space like this really does help with my productivity and of course you can adjust the height of the desk and preset certain heights as well. It's definitely a great investment for anyone who spends a lot of time at your computer either working from home or going to school remotely. All right, so if you guys are in the market for a new stand-up desk that is really good quality and also looks very aesthetic while you're working from home, I would definitely check out FlexiSpot. You can check out FlexiSpot in the link in my description. And thank you again, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring today's video. All right, so just catching up with you guys a little bit. Typically in the mornings, I still log in and check email, although I do feel like emails are a lot less urgent in my current role. Typically, if someone really needs something from me urgently, then they'll know to either message me or 
actually probably just message me or tag me in something main thing is to check my inbox for my team so our security inbox is for any security issues or incidents or vulnerabilities and things like that so that is the one that i always keep up with other than that some of the projects i've been working on are for a few tools cybersecurity tools that my company is looking to implement all right, I'm setting up here again because it was a little bit loud over there, but one of the perks of working in a smaller team, you definitely get your voice heard and people will care about what you think, even if you're in your early career like I am. And that's something I definitely appreciate. So basically I'm just looking into some options that we might have for a specific tool that we're looking to bring into the company. I know there's people out there who would kill to be able to choose the vulnerability scanner that their company uses. Yeah, it's been very interesting. I think this job in general has definitely tested a lot of my limits or not limits actually um tested a lot of what i want out of my career and i think that's always going to be evolving so if you're someone who is currently in their early career and maybe you're working a job maybe you're also in cybersecurity and you're working as a security analyst there may be certain things that you like more about your job than others and i think that's a really good kind of like gateway to lead you down to which role you actually want to go into if you do plan on niching down i think i mentioned in the past on my channel but i don't plan on being in one specific niche in cybersecurity i like to kind of move around and try a bunch of different things and even in this team that i'm currently in even though I'm a security analyst. I touch many different things across the board, but that's also because I have a smaller team and we all kind of touch a bunch of different things. And I definitely think that's one of the pros of working in a smaller company. But again, I'm always still kind of looking out and feeling for what I do like the most out of my job and what I may do better without <laughs> if I could choose. Um, but of course not every job is going to be rainbows and butterflies every single day all the time. Yeah, basically that is kind of a catch up of what my work life looks like um obviously i can't share anything confidential just because obviously i still work for a company in cybersecurity so i don't want to overstep that boundary but i do want to share as much as i can for the places i can share but i would say overall i've been here for a bit over six months now it's been over half a year which is crazy because it feels like i just started at this job but then again it also feels like i've been here for years i'm not sure where that feeling comes from but yeah it's kind of interesting but i do think that my team is definitely one of the best teams i've ever worked with i have the best manager so um definitely no cons there yeah things are just gonna be very busy towards the end of the year for me um with work as well as this youtube channel as well as the vlog channel and then the podcast as well as travel we're doing a decent chunk of traveling for the towards the end of the year and i also have my how to get your first job in cybersecurity course coming out also towards the end of the year then i've been working on that for the last few months now um it's been maybe i don't know like four or five months altogether, and that has definitely been a huge chunk of my time i'm so excited to share that with you guys once it's ready. But I think for now, that's all the updates I have. I'll just take you guys along with the rest of my day. All right, I'm getting ready for the gym. For those of you who don't know, I recently started a gym membership. Well, actually not that recent, but I think beginning of summer. And overall it's been pretty good. I have a personal trainer who I meet with once a week and she's awesome she definitely kicks my butt with these workouts but yeah i'm not leaving for another hour or an hour and a half or so so i'm just getting ready beforehand and filming this bit before things get busy towards the end of the day and i have some stuff i want to finish up before i log off of work today but yeah i just put on a sports bra let me actually go into the filming setup all right so if you guys watch my typical videos you probably already know the setup except the lights aren't on um, I've been too lazy to turn them on, but there's also the quieter part of the house So which is why I can film in here and I might as well just catch you guys up on my day as well But typically on Mondays, I don't have too many meetings My meeting heavy weeks are typically Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays And even then my team is pretty good with working together to consolidate meetings or like kind of combine meetings So we have less on the calendar and I am a huge fan of less meetings and if anything everyone else on my team probably is even more so because Everyone else on my team seems to have a lot more meetings than I do. Um, on a daily basis, I probably have two to three meetings on a regular day. And if it's busy, I'll probably have four or five. I mean, this is very little compared to my previous company where I would have meetings for like five hours a day, um, six hours a day. Sometimes just the entire day is just meetings. And you know, with someone at my level, I feel like it's not that beneficial to have me in meetings all the time especially when i still need to get my actual work done and a lot of the meetings are just for a like a nice to have for me yeah meeting culture is not for me and yeah basically um mondays i typically don't have too many meetings i'll maybe have one meeting at most and then if there's something that pops up randomly um for example like a demo or some kind of or some kind of security related incident or topic um that comes up then we'll like cuddle together and have a meeting but typically mondays are kind of like my heads down get back into the week 
uh, setup for the week kind of a day and I really enjoy that and then Fridays are also like my wrap of work wind down days for the weekend. I definitely like that setup because it makes the rest of the week, the middle of the week, feel a lot more manageable um, because that is typically the busiest part of the week for meetings as well as other work. But yeah, what other life updates? Hmm. Um, maybe some of our travel plans. We don't have any international travel actually maybe so we do have one piece of international travel later this year and then the rest of it is within the u.s or pretty much local like driving distance so there's not too much yeah honestly i haven't really taken any big trips this year and that definitely is on purpose especially because i just started my job six months ago i don't want to use my pto as of yet because i'm saving it yeah that's definitely another thing to keep in mind um but then again my team is also very flexible because for example if i were to visit my family in philly um typically i would have to take off a week for that or i would just say over the weekend but obviously a weekend is really just saturday if you come on friday and leave on sunday but because i'm able to work remotely which is super super amazing i got to basically visit philly and work there at my cousin's house for a week and still be working so basically it was combining spending time with my family along with still being able to work because i still have my laptop and i don't need to be in an office setting to work that is such a revolutionary thing um i would never have expected this when i started my career three years ago but i really hope that more companies do transition to working remote anyways we already did a episode of the podcast for working remotely and what we think about how it impacts your career so i'll link the episode of our podcast in the description it is on spotify and it's also on luca's channel as well if you guys want to watch it you know with our faces instead of just listening all right i'll talk to you guys in a bit when we start heading out to the gym and also after the gym we're going to get dinner at one of my favorite Sichuan restaurants um, or Sichuan if you guys are Chinese and don't say it in that Americanized way maybe it's because this past weekend we ate a lot of Asian food in New York and I'm just craving more of it which honestly should have the opposite effect but I don't know all right I didn't record anything at the gym but I promised you guys we went to the gym all right so now we're gonna go to lunch I mean dinner dinner yeah I always feel kind of icky going in like my gym clothes to a dinner place but that is how it's gonna be because our gym is like in between our place and the dinner place, so it just made more sense. Are we doing some grocery shopping at Whole Foods? I had Oprah for the first time recently, and I actually really liked it. mission success it started raining while we we're in there but we basically just picked up some yogurt um some fruit i think i got some snacks and he usually gets like muesli which is kind of like yogurt i think no it's kind of like oats but it's a uh, processed differently or something i don't know um yeah mostly breakfast foods all right guys so that's it for this video let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and don't forget to check out flexi spot and their standing desk they're amazing quality and i definitely recommend if you're someone who is looking for a new standing desk especially if you work from home and you can check them out in the link in my description let me know also if you have any other questions on what i do as a security analyst my day-to-day -day role as well as anything else i can help answer i post videos every wednesdays and sundays at 12 p.m and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.